All right, welcome to Underdog Season 7, Tournament 7, Lucky 7s. My name is Rathan. I'm here with Wulong and Postman. How you doing, everybody? Nice to be here. We are just finalizing all of the check-ins and sign-ups right now. I think we got one late one still trying to get processed. Um, and then we can get this show on the road. As normal for this season, we are still sponsored by Maturino. And all proceeds for the season are going to the National Alliance to End Homelessness. So if you can, I'm going to put a link right here in the Twitch. Go ahead and hit up the Match Arena with that coupon code NCH. You can put the coupon code in. It raises our donation pool by a dollar. You don't have to pay anything. And you get your shout out on stream, whatever you want to type in there. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how we're rolling. We also have some significant interesting hope. Like, merch and other things. My microphone, my microphone has been like on the fritz today, and like I tr tried to mute myself just before I had a large belch, and I hope I did. But then I looked down I and saw that it. it was muted got after it. I pressed it. So, <laughs> <laughs> got it. Nailed it. Hear you guys, so I can't even hear you confirm if I did or did. <laughs> <laughs> Now we 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 I think we avoided the the grossness, but strangely, it looks like Matrino has updated their splash page, and now we've got some additional it little uh, great. ads on there. Oh, I mean, Matrino like actually. might even might even need to update a lot of the stuff because uh, it, it it looks great these days. Yeah, um, shows you where the stream is, who's been donating, like Whoa. affiliates, so on and so forth. It's Oh, new match arena looks awesome. Damn. Definitely upping their game. Right. Just like everyone plus, here tonight, there's right? No more, no more codes, apparently. Like, uh, uh, maybe for your account, since you were, like, retroactively fitted to the new system, you might still have codes. But uh, for newer stuff, you just go on the webpage, press a button, and you automatically put the put the, like, charity benefit or whatever and, and it's great oh that's great yeah i, I actually hear on a match it says claim code to contribute to, and it even says 16 out of 50 remaining wow yeah they, they, they really they really updated this this looks great nice yeah, exactly a lot more streamlined which is cool shout outs to them but we are giving lots of props to people that are not even here we are supposed to be giving props to the folks that are going to be playing tonight we have a nice amount uh, i think 14 players tonight as long as Golden Flame finishes processing his late invitation, uh, we will have 14, yes. Nice even number, Ooh. we like that. Yeah. No buys. So we got listed here, we got Mika the Destroyer, Arlie 13, awesome artist, Wildman player. Uh, we got <laughs> the Commissioner, Coach X Josh, JB, JB4 Nay, Celsius. Silver Dono, Kuma, 6691, Silver PC, Savior, B4, aka Advanced Gamer. We got Nick, Monster, hiding in the bracket. <laughs> Jack He's just some casual. Just some casual. It's a silver player. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we got, and who's our, who's our 13th? Because I know Gold Flame is going to be our... But I can't see the thirteenth in front of me. Thirteenth um, is uh, is Inora and then Golden Flame. Yeah. I see. I see. All right. Cool. So that should be everybody tonight. Um, and with that, yeah. So uh, for anybody who's watching and doesn't understand how a Swiss bracket system works, basically we are going to go through a set of. Uh, six rounds i believe no five rounds five rounds in total yeah, like five right now and uh yeah and so what's going to happen is players are going to be somewhat randomly assigned to each other 
Uh, and whoever gets the most wins at the end of these five rounds will be crowned the champion. If there's a tie of some sort, uh, points on the previous seasons will help determine a victor. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's just going to be, it's a bit more of a beginner friendly style or even more casual friendly style tournament because you get to play every round. There's no knockouts of any sort. So there's no pressure to like, oh, if I lose, I'm out of the tournament. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot more free form and it's a lot more, uh, just, yeah, definitely. I'm a big fan of Swiss. Uh, that's why uh, this was set up that way. Uh, I definitely went out there for this one. Um, just to clarify one thing, it's not quite random. Uh, the way it matches you up is it matches you against somebody else who has the currently the same record as you. So if you, let's say you're a brand new player, you go in, you get washed your first match, you're 0-1 now. It's going to match you up against somebody else who is currently 0-1. Let's say you lose that one too. You've gone 0-2. Normally you'd be out now, but because we're playing Swiss, you get to keep playing and it's going to match you up with another player who's also 0-2. Um, so hopefully by the end of the night, you've been able to face a few players who basically are kind of in the same level or, or same situation you're in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there, so, so there is a method of, there is a method to the madness at the end <laughs> of the day. And oh, yeah. That's good, but like because uh, you know, I help I help somewhat help run the the online locals guilty gear the new guilty gear tournament that we're running there, and um, there's a bit of a snafu where a little miscommunication happened, and some people signed up thinking it was a beginners friendly tournament when we wanted it to be like friendly for anybody new to entering the tournaments, not necessarily for like beginners only. Um, gotcha. But like, uh, the, yeah, this one is definitely just like it's nice to just keep getting sets and keep going at each other and so on and so forth so hopefully you all enjoy yourself i know wulong raythan and myself are happy to be doing uh to organizing this for you guys well wulong and raythan are happy to organize i'm happy to just be here <laughs> and, and, and hey, ramping yeah, yeah. while they and while they while they get all their shit together um and judging you all as you play uh but that being said i think we are going to like people are going to get randomized again after the last entrance get put in i assume uh, no because uh sign-ins have already been processed and we've already uh signed seeds and everything this is the final bracket we're just waiting to hit the start the tournament button okay okay yeah so we will look at who is going up right now mika the destroyer is going to go up against our lead do we want that as our first match just yeah, off the bracket like off the top one. yeah yeah let's grab that yeah uh, sure uh, oh, let okay, me refresh. I'm looking at an old, uh, old one. Let's save Nick for later. He's like the monster hiding under the bed. You can't reveal the monster yeah. too Nick, early in the I, movie. I don't, I don't, I don't, I want him against like Advance or against like Coach Josh, like somebody who is up for that beating on <laughs> on stream. For that you know what beating. I mean? that was a good, like, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Like, all jokes aside, Nick is like a, a top contender for like really strong street fighter five player <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah he's like an ultimate grandmaster and, uh, like... <laughs> and so like i think i don't know who did this like he said someone asked him to be here and i don't know who's responsible <laughs> yeah. for that what, what, what but, villain would do such a thing <laughs> but apparently he was asked to be here for more rashid practice which i which i actually really appreciate because rashid um as powerful of his character as he is he's not very well seen or represented i think Good. in terms of casual He's very well represented in, ter in, in terms of like top level play, I yeah. would say. You definitely see him more frequently at higher levels. But like when you're just when you're at a random tournament, the odds of bumping into a Rashid outside of grand finals is like pretty slim. <laughs> it's Which not, has always been yeah. strange to that. me. Strange uh, to me that people aren't playing the metagame that hard. I think I don't think it's ever a case of meta when it's when you're at that casual and I don't when I say I say casual in a very broad sense, I mean like not professional. Like so that is like ninety eight percent of all players, right? Um, they play based on characters that they find some resemblance with in terms of identity or play styles. And when you have a character that's as unique as Rashid and represents a population that we they're like a minority group that we don't see that frequently i think that's what ends up happening you just don't you don't see players attaching to him as frequently you know what i mean so um that's my guess that's my assumption but maybe i'm entirely wrong yeah, who knows 
Um, so let's see. So we're doing Mika the Destroyer versus Coach Benny. Josh. Uh, who oh. else do we want to grab here? Um, um, I personally like the matchup of Silver and Deject, these two West Coast guys that I know fight very frequently. So yeah, Sounds good. Let's do those four. Uh, I will go ahead and hit the Start the Tournament button so everybody else can start playing their match. And we will start inviting those dudes to the lobby. Yeah, there's so many, so many silvers in in the uh, Discord. It's crazy. Yeah, I know, right? Everybody wants. To be fair, I get it. Like silver is my favorite color, personally. Very cool color, but uh, it's also very it, confusing. It's a great color. <laughs> yeah, we have silver. We have like twenty silvers, a silver dono. Like it's like different. Disambiguations of silver, popular name. I don't know. Did the bracket did reset? I knew it. I knew it. it yeah, yeah. Did. I had to refresh mine. Mine was a little outdated. It, oh, I mean, yeah. it hasn't refreshed for me, but you guys might have been on a stale one or something. Well, whatever. It is what it is. We got we got who we want in front of us. We're gonna get not our Lee. We're gonna get Coach Josh versus Mika the Destroyer. And then we are going to get Dejectus and Silver. That's my bad. You will get Arlie okay. at some point. I need yeah, to see that yeah. madness on screen. Because I've been fighting Arlie to get everyone, of course. I had to check my right, buttons right, real absolutely. quick. Swapped over to the uh, Snackbox Micro since the last one. Ooh. All right. All right, okay. so we have Mika and Coach Josh already queued up here. Silver's in the lobby. We're just waiting for Dejectus, uh, but we can queue up our first match already. Absolutely. As long as he got the invite, that's fine. Yeah, I actually, uh, I haven't played, I played Arlie like once, and it was a very long time ago. Like, I, I don't even know if I was Diamond yet when I played, played them, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like the way they play. Like they, they, I, they, they're, <laughs> they're, 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 they're much better than like, um, I, I, I feel like they let on, you know. Yeah, I, I think like I'll give him, I'll give Arlie some grief because I am not a fan of the play style that Arlie plays, <laughs> but I have to give him a lot of credit. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go too much into it because they're, they're not the person that's gonna be on screen right now, so I don't want to focus on them too much. But they're very impulsive. And mm -hmm. they follow through on a lot of what they do, which is very good and it's very important. Um, but they're v and they they have some reactions that I'm just dumbfounded by. Um, but like, it is very impulsive, and so it's very much against what I'm more used to, which is very much more calculated, like slow building into like an explosive finale. Whereas like Arlie likes to start with a bang right from the top, but um. But as I said, we won't get too much into it right now because we're going to have Coach uh, Josh. Yes. Possibly with the poison. I don't know yet. The character the character you're favoriting is not always the character you pick. Yes. So it's always the OS on the character select screen. And then we got Mika the Destroyer as well, both sitting at the top of the Rattle Lounge. If you guys are ready to start, please go right yeah, ahead. We are, we are ready for anybody. you. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead and hit that button whenever you do. We are here yeah, for you. Add them in the Discord just so they're doubly sure. Mm -hmm. He might. Okay, well, there's one. You never know. Sometimes everybody hey, gets there we go. There we go. Like, oh, delivery at the door. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. we're gonna fight some streets. <laughs> yeah, Mika the Destroyer, of course, uh, reigning uh, champion. Right, one last underdog, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that. In a while, you have to. You're gonna have to remind me. Yeah, but, it's, yeah, it's been three. Yeah, it has been a while, but I do believe Mika the Destroyer took it last time. Um, okay. Strong Mika play, of course. Hmm. that's understandable like once you're getting to diamond rank like obviously we don't have a skill cap on this tournament but you definitely get a wide variety and like once you're in diamond your consistency is at least good enough to keep you in diamond so it's no surprise yeah. that you're going to do very well against uh people that haven't yet climbed their way to that to that pedestal yet that being said which josh you know, ranks don't say everything, and I haven't seen these two fight yet, so I'd be interested to see how this plays out. Yeah, that's one of those things. Ranked is only accurate if you play enough ranked. <laughs> yeah, sure. exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling Coach Josh about to bring the heat with this with this poison. I, I want to believe because he's got Coach in the name, so I want to yeah, believe like exactly. it's just like he's just like he's like Setsay where he just knows all the facts yeah. and stuff like that. Here we go, getting a start. Fast forward a little bit. 
playing the nice and slow neutral game plan, which is actually what you want to do as Mika. You really want to feel out the opponent before you start taking these madman takes. Like, ooh, that. Oh, the, the command grab whiffs almost point blank. I, I was surprised that whiffed at that range. And uh, poison not there. thick <laughs> enough to get yeah. caught by that. But right now, Josh, able to find his way out of the corner, out of opportunity. But Mika, the destroyer, just getting in regardless. You should have getting Coach Josh out. And back we are into neutral. All right, Mika destroys slowly. Oh, he gets the counter hit, confirms it into the EX. All right, li li life life is uh, basically similar. Goes Ooh, for the goes tick throw. I like throw. the idea, but good tech for Mika. Yeah, but one hit confirm <laughs> off of Mika will destroy everything. Oh, yeah. that command? No, he d he makes a big oh, read. Oh, he tried to jump. Oh, guess for game. There it oh, is. So unfortunate there for Coach Josh. Got activated on and then was in the casino and was not able to handle the mix, but. For most of that round, was, sta was standing his ground and, and you know, try doing his best to keep Mika out. Oh, round star EX overhead. I like that. Yeah, we actually we really like Coach that, Josh yes. making a liberal use of that meter here, but uh, Mika's sitting on a lot of bars at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's the command, the swing into the corner. That's tough. Oh, huge crush swing. counter. Nice so conversion, good. too. Okay, pace is picking up just a little bit as the music's going. Just getting hit low into the conversion now. Oh, not oh, big damage. The shift. Yeah, still able to punish it. That's going to lead to a stun. And with that, Mika the Destroyer going to take a fairly sound game one. Damn, yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's it. I mean, that's Mika, of course. You know, M Mika's game plan is to get your back to the wall, and suddenly you're, you know, you're playing slots. You're playing the slots, and uh, Coach Josh did well. He did totally fine when he was out of it, but obviously Mika is sure just slowly working him into it and then pouncing. I think what Coach Josh has to do is have more of a threat at the mid screen, more interruptions off of these things like the drop Definitely. kick. Because if not, it's just here's the thing with zoners, right? Zoners, even if the game, even if the uh, the player skill is a bit of a mismatch, you die slower just because zoners have that threat, right? Like they they just threaten you and you have to approach them slower. But right now we're not seeing Mika the Destroyer being slowed down in any sense Josh hasn't been putting up any sort of like front to uh, really stop Mika from doing what she wants to do and like that could be you know experience part of that could be a, a, a whole bevy of things but if we don't see yeah stuff like that whiff stance just to give uh, Mika the Destroyer a reason not to go in and it, we're just gonna get stuck in the corner into these blenders there's another one, not another one for stun, but that'll do it. No, he goes instead for a reset and gets hit big with the critical art for it. All right, so he, 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 he he's gonna reduce the, the life lead that Mika has, gets back to mid screen. This is the range that Coach Josh wants to keep Mika the Destroyer at. It's all about maintaining this range. Okay, activates, let's see what he can do. Yeah, he has the Molotovs. Good oh, Mika the Destroyer with what a challenge on that wake up. This is not dead, but it is a sandwich you do not want to eat. Straight to the ground and guess for game off of this. Oh, it's off. Patience. Just patience backs up entirely. Sides. Mika the oh, Destroyer my. just respecting a character with no reversal, but you know what? We take those. Okay, Coach Josh has a foundation here. I mean, he just needs to keep Mika out. Oh, but Dash up low wasn't watching his toes, and Mika takes it 2-0. Yeah, I mean, it, like, as soon as he whiffed that crouch heavy punch, I was concerned. Because, like, at that point, you see that Coach Josh isn't comfortable poking at ranges where the, the block is guaranteed. And, like, once yeah. you're second-guessing your ranges as a zoner, that's when somebody dashes at you and takes you off guard because you're thinking about something else. Um, right. Yeah, that happens, the, you know. The Mika matchup, uh, since this is kind of a newer player tournament, uh, one of the big things you hear from, you know, more experienced players is that Mika struggles in the neutral. And I think a lot of newer players might not understand exactly why that's the case, because she seems to have a lot of very strong tools. But the problem is, all of them have, like, flaws that can be exploited by the opponent. Mm -hmm. And largely quote-unquote on reaction quote-unquote yeah. like you know there's factors like online again experience matters so much if you cannot recognize her drop kick from like frames one through seven you're in trouble you're in big trouble <laughs> yeah yeah so yeah you, you, there's you, you an element want to, to that crouch jab well. that um, if you can like it, you know there, at the end of the day it is possible to keep mika out but like 
is a task that you have to be really ready for and if you're not like that that blender is just so ridiculous that vortex is just monstrous but uh all right that was good games from the two of them thank you so much for uh being our first set of the night dejectus and silver coming up dejectus uh been in the server for a couple months now i know he's been like a little back and forth in terms of characters but he's always playing here and there silver of course probably sticking with seth um definitely like has hit their hit hit a, hit a stride in a sense in terms of like playing at a level where they can stay in gold and and kind of be happy about that um we'll see how that kind of plays out between the two of them in this set yep and uh yeah it's, it's something that I've, I've i've talked about a couple times in this in this series so far but um i, I always love watching two players who play each other regularly fight because at some point it transcends the character matchup and it becomes a player matchup uh, uh silver going 10 i uh, i didn't know we had this in in, uh, in the uh, in the repertoire you know, again when with these tournaments being a much more casual friendly setting yeah play who you want you want to play 10, sure. by all means and i saw it was v skill 2 v trigger 1 if i read that correctly come on round one Two and two, okay. Oh, V, oh, V skill to V trigger two. Cool. We're gonna see some maybe a little bit of a. Uh, oh, nice anti air DP from Dejectus. Oh, he has the anti airs. Didn't get the Oki quite right, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, you get back thrown by Ken, and that's just the end of your day. Oh, not again. Okay, he gets back thrown. Oh. Jack just gonna have to. Oh, okay. S like Silver missed times the meaty. Oh, and oh, just I'm doesn't hit confirm. Yeah, yeah, Silver's just gonna kill off of that. Buffer in that DP into the kill. Um, yeah, just like a couple and four. The biggest thing were just mistiming a few things, either a hit confirm or a meaty, because that anti air was real good from the start. Just like yeah, for sure. Just getting back through it is just so bad. <laughs> it's so bad, especially when you're fighting Ken, because it yeah. tosses you so close to the corner. That's plus. A punish. Okay, that that was sort of a punish. Yeah, punishing oh. for crouch blocking. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, gets back thrown. Of the, this is oh, he jumps right over. I like that, recognizing that? that Silver was not ma maintaining the proper space. Get that throw. Whoa. Oh, he can punish. Oh, he, oh, he punish. just misses it. Oh, and then he whiffs throw and gets thrown. I hate when that happens to me. Yep. There's definitely a lot of unfamiliarity, if anything, in terms of just game feel. Um, he, like... He's in chip range now. Got to be careful. Okay. Yeah, trade. He trade. <laughs> Only now, so much training and yeah theory crafts because i've seen to check this talk a lot in the, in the chat like he clearly knows a good amount about the game for um, sure instead of a like factual level like there's a sense of game feel that you need to acquire and that's just going to happen with experience over time I mean, and right now i think silver silver is definitely playing a bit more off of feel and just like knowing where they can throw uh, or assuming where they can throw and it's just working out um, and as and uh, Mike Tyson is kind of feeling said, it out himself. Everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Yeah, exactly, oh. right? And right now, Silver getting that V trigger, big punch in the mouth going on. Done with the EX up or just flashing their way. That's Oki. One more. Close to stun. No, wake up DP of their own. Dejectus. Like oh, Charming. huge crush counter. Oh, but Ooh, doesn't, that doesn't, doesn't make like it the that. optimal follow up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, though. Still got life. Yeah. It's back dash. Oh no, the oh, dash, dash is up throws. Yeah, wait, he just does it. kill. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, his DP does a lot of damage. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was before, gonna say, my even goodness. Even before the enhancements, AXP. it does a lot of damage. Um, Beefy. Yeah. And, now, and, and we saw there, you know, like, the is taking a bit more advantage of, like, Silver's aggression. Uh, like, getting a few counter hits there, EXDP on wake up, so on and so forth. Nice, good conversion. Hit the Oki? Okay, he tried. He just whiffed it a little bit, but Silver has the life deficit, but they are going to get in. I promise you this. Wulong, I promise you this. Silver will I, get I in. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you can always uh, see Deject this. He like, he like, he like, he like loads up the anti-air, but he doesn't always get, get and now he's able to pull the trigger. It's, it's, it's that confidence, that feel again. Yeah. Alright, he's... Yeah, in, in a bad way. That's that. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be tough to fight off from that position for sure. But he, but he does have full super going. But they both have full super going in his last round. So plenty of resources. I wonder if we'll see like an early cash out. 
No, not so far. Walk up throw. Crouch me. Nice. There's nice. the anti. There you go. Oh, crush, he's crush counter. Into the confirm. No, but again, doesn't get the OP. Ah. And oh, he gets the jump over. That, oh, he drops the confirm. It goes right, into the critical. Oh, no, he's gonna have a side kill, kill, but that's a pretty big lead now. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> but Kage damage. I mean, Kage can touch you once and delete you, and just like this. Yeah, he's just he gonna doesn't spend anything. Yeah. Well, again, this, oh, is this, this should that's, be it. No, oh, it's too early. Oh, it was too early. Okay. Yeah. Okay, he, he could kill. Dead. Okay, there dead. we go. Oh man, that was a roller coaster at the end. Oh man. All right. <laughs> like, we need like somebody right in here to clean up that spaghetti. Yeah. I know, I know. But what I do like is that Dejective stuck to what he knew. Like he knew that basic bread and butter. He knows the target, co the forward heavy punch target combo. Um, some people can freestyle a bit more when they have a lot of experience with the game. Like they can just be and be like, "Yeah, I've seen this combo. I can do. I have meter. I can do this. So on and so forth." But like, right. again, when you're when you're not when you haven't put enough time into this, you, it's better to stick with what you know. And so Dejectus like stuck with those combos, did what he knew worked, and uh, you know just kind of had the consistency to survive the storm that was Silver's uh, Ken. <laughs> And I wonder if, uh, you know, obviously still we're going back to characters like that. I wonder if we're going to see the Seth come out. Maybe. Yeah, that'd be possible. And I say this with love. I get If I get salty, I will pick my main. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's kind of like Rock Lee like, dropping the weights. Like it's, no, it you know, kind no of, game. but Rock, Rock Lee is like, you know... <laughs> It, there's some like honor to it me i'm just like man i'm like i i empathize with cody too much where cody's like fuck this i'm taking out i don't want to lose like let's let's go uh so the set is to, coming out the set i have to say uh deject this uh he came dressed to kill like and this I that, like that this means color. a lot to me yeah, I've it's never seen this color with the tots with the uh, I was gonna say the tatsu with the tatsu tux. <laughs> hey. jumping. No, just oh, like he, this is the confirm though. Unfortunate for Silver Jack, does not get does not miss it though, and he oh, just has he no catches pressure him pressing. Yeah, that's tough because it's like, do you do you, do you tech for the throw? Do you try to challenge in case they throw? It's a it's a just guessed wrong. It's, it's Silver's really gonna take the round for it. Sorry, I'll right. red fireball. Nice. Wow, an early DP. Yeah, that, was early. Uh, that was on the way up. He got him. Gets me a little concerned, but you know what? We take those. The V skill not working out because it's just not. It doesn't suck you in as far yeah, as. Yeah, yeah, they, they didn't nerf that. Yeah, it should still the the grab should still get you. Oh my goodness, he and jumped again. over it and got sucked on the way down. What? So, this is like, so this is gonna this kill. Is, yeah, gonna definitely about, gonna be the I'm end. Gonna, assuming silver. Uh, yes. I'm gonna talk okay. about what happened there. And how it again goes back to game feel. Dejectus had the right read. He did the forward jump expecting the V skill. Either he saw it or he expected it. Um, either way, it was a good read or a good call. He doesn't have his jump in attack timing down yet. He did jumping medium kick. He did it too early, so it whipped. So when he landed, he got hit by the because that because Visco one has like twenty five active frames. <laughs> so and yeah, talk about unlucky. Oof. Yeah, I mean, and and that and again, it just comes down to experience. Like early on, when you're playing this game, you are not going to hit everything. You're not going to time everything correctly. And again, it comes down to like just keep trying and trying and, and trying until it finally clicks. Until you're like every jump in you do will hit. It, it'll be blocked or it'll hit but it, it will always connect right um, yeah, so i would just say like have that down 100 percent of the time it. then you're going to join your first tournament and get put on stream and it's all going to fall apart again anyway, yeah, yeah, that right. that's part of uh, that's still the experience because i bet you he, <laughs> i bet you he will never miss that combo in training mode and i bet you next tournament he will miss it less right so it's all about so it's all about that uh, it's, and because like again training mode experience is different than online experience is different than tournament experience it's it's it re you do you just need to keep exposing yourself to this stuff if you want to continue doing if you want to continue improving. Definitely, I think personally. All right. All right. So who anyway. do we have in round two here? We do have one drop. Uh, looks like Commissioner wasn't quite able to make it here. Um, so for round two, 
Mm. I'm liking the look of JB Fournay and Savior, or or as we know him, Advance. Yep, yep, that's that's a good looking one, I think. Um, we just saw Silver, we just saw Dejectus, we just saw Coach Josh, and we just saw Mika. So the only other one we have that we haven't seen one of the two in is Nick versus Arlie. Yeah, yeah you want. I like it. it. Yeah, I mean, it is a nice, uh, nice match too. Um, our, right. Lee, our, our Lee will protest, but <laughs> he hits us with a sad immediately. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> that do That is it. perfect. <laughs> so, what is a uh, Nick CFN here? Is that the right CFN? Just Nick? I think it's uh, it's something. Uh, it's it's uh, it's uh, I know it's Nick and then two underscores. Oh, it's not D's. that anymore. Oh wait, he changed oh, it. Up. I think oh. so. We we should ask. We should ask. Yeah, yeah. I don't I'll ask think him. it's that anymore. Well, I'll just. I I'll think it's like first. I think it's like sad on SF5 or something. <laughs> I think it's something like that. Is advances actually with the? the it's it's it's, it's it's written as. No, there's no apostrophe. Yeah, it, it, it's savior fifty four. But it's savior in like the the English way, so it's got a Canadian way. way. Yeah, or whatever. Ugh. Yeah. Oh no, it is Nick these nights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's his, that's his Twitch. That's what it is. He has a yeah. Twitch username that's like sad on SF5, and it gets him insta banned <laughs> all the time. It's yeah, great. so it's it's Nick two underscores these two underscores nuts. Oh, I believe we have set them all out now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Arlie. Arlie, by the way, if anybody's watching this who's not part of NCH, and I don't know how the hell you got here, right? Um, but. Arlie is a fantastic artist. They've been doing a bunch of the emotes uh, that I use a fuck ton in this in our Discord server. <laughs> they're they're amazing. They're amazing. Um, he does awesome, yeah. particularly awesome like character caricature face work. So so uh, beyond the madman is a, is a, is a, is a solid artist. <laughs> yeah, 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 incredible artist. The Balrog emote. I'm I'm probably responsible for like eighty percent of the uses of that <laughs> yeah, emote. Yeah. <laughs> um and uh yeah 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 all, all those emotes he makes are, are great I, mm -hmm. I, I i feel like an underrated one is the honda one and the just sitting in the shower you know, I, like, I, don't that's a great one. I don't know i don't know when to use it it's like <laughs> i just don't have a time to use it because it's not bad especially considering like the honda gimmick but like yeah i just never have a reason to use it I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. well anyway. um I, I honestly, I'm sorry. I, I, I was, I was doing the, uh, I was just paying pay attention to the Discord. I didn't see who we had queued up first here. Didn't either. This is JB Fournay <laughs> versus Advance. Oh man, Advance okay, against so Advance. Valora. Okay. And JB Fournay is just shooting up the, uh, the ranked ladder. I'm not surprised based off what I see from him week in week out here in Underdog. Very, very Don't solid me. player. I'm a bit. I, I'm not seeing play as much. Do not leave the battle lounge. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right in. <laughs> God. Right. So yeah, I don't know how much uh, experience Advance has against Laura, um, but uh, this matchup is against two of my most hated characters, and uh, I'm curious to see how. <laughs> All right, no one punishes just yet. But that's what's poor, gonna... honest Cammy. Yeah, yeah, these are just two solid <laughs> fundamental base characters, obviously. I'll be, yeah. I'll be, I'll be super real. If Cammy gets dropped, so be it. I will be sad if Laura gets dropped in season two by the six. I really like Laura. Cool, but, uh, oh, goodness, nice redesign or something. All right, so advance back against the wall. Oh, gets hit with a charged clap. He, he saw that he had the challenge, but just the timing was a little bit off. Yeah, I, there there might be a little bit of unfamiliarity, maybe a little bit of timidness, yeah. but but you know what, Advance is, is pretty quick to adapt. He's at that point where he's Ooh. he's actually pretty good about adapting. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, nice, nice confirm with the crash medium pick. Wow. Ooh, that's oh, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> he blocks the overhead. Come on, Advance. Right after we say something nice about you. Come on. It's gonna happen. Oh, crush huge counter. crush counter. Just for the cheeky reset, but even then he's gonna have to land a meaty. Start the activation. Nice back jump. That's gonna be punished. No, he does it a little too late. Oh man. Yeah. I know. The KB4 has man. to be very careful about charging up a clap here. He can't really do so. Run oh, down. Yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then he does it just to yeah. make me look foolish. Nice. Good stuff from JB Fourne. Yeah, like some some fighting spirit from Advance. I think he just like 
second guessed a few things in neutral a little too yeah. much, and uh, that gave JB the opportunity to get a little cheeky, which it seems like that's his fighting style. Like he, and I mean, Laura's perfectly suited for that. She, she's good at getting away with some stuff that's a little bit fake, um, just because she's like very fast and yeah. very threatening. Well, um, lots of knowledge checks. Hmm. All nice right, take throw. Like Good it. start always. Ooh, counter hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Not sure at that height that you can even con can convert even from counter hit. Yeah, I don't know. I that must have been a mis input on the V skill because uh, you don't want to do the overhead there. But oh, you know, Jay Fournay is whiffing up. buttons. My lord. And we haven't been seeing too many intentional with punishes just yeah. yet. Um, so that's fair. Oh, too far oh, away. My, oh my goodness, yeah. He shimmied with worst. the clap? <laughs> yeah, well, it pulls our hurt box back. It's, it's gone. <laughs> that's, that's tech right there. Yeah, yeah. That was actually kind of sick. Was done. Oh, man. Oh, that was, that was, what a sequence for JB Fournay. Uh, oh, people undersell how good EX clap into command dashes when V skill one. <laughs> like yeah. people, people, people always like to say that V trigger was busted from day one. No, it did not get busted until that was added to it, and like Capcom knew it had to be three bar after that. Cause Jesus Christ, that thing. Yeah, like, like what are you supposed to do? You're, you're stuck in proximity guard because the clap is following Laura around. It's like, oh man. That sequence on block is plus four for Laura after the I command guess. dash with the with the EX coming after. That Ooh, makes sense. A, how do they both get at that range? I Things are happening. Uh, I can yeah. say certainly. Okay, he gets the counter to stand light, medium kick. Oh, oh he misses drop. the concern. He's got a lot of help to... though. V shift. Nice V shifts out. I like that. And Ooh. the air to air. Nice. I mean, JB Fortnite had the right idea to neutral jump, but. Uh... Wow. <laughs> it, 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 Dance actually adapted well and went for the air to air instead of dive kicking. Oh, CX again. And same side. Counter hit. No. Oh, miss input. Input. Okay, take okay. that throw. V shift. Oh, nice V shift on the yeah, medium. A lot of mileage input. on that V shift. Yeah, right now I think it might be a little bit of safe end going on. Back okay, back throws into the corner. Really smart from Advance. Oh, and then the dive kick puts him in the corner. Oh no, so unfortunate. Sure that oh, she just does EX raw EX. Yeah, I mean he's not he hadn't he hadn't tried that before. Nice view reversal. Person. Get out of that situation. Oh man, JB Fournay pressed. Oh gosh. And he oh, pressed the again. Stand light kick. Wow. Alright, we're really one impressive now. from advance to not crack under the pressure of being in the corner there and I then mean, convert. I mean I he took even with the whole match, he took the better approach, which is forget the opponent's offense. I got my own offense going. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot easier to deal with somebody when you're putting them under pressure than when they're putting you under pressure. So you know what? Even with a few mistakes, uh, shows that the Cami offense is a little bit stronger than the lore at the moment. He doesn't have to guess. The floor is busy guessing. He's hit confirm exactly. again. There we go. Alright, JB Fournay already back to the wall. Let's see how he tries to play out of this. Advance backing off just a little bit. Okay, back to mid screen. Ooh. It's a crush counter stand fierce. Ouch. Check on the dash just yet. Pressing buttons though after those plus two into the five frame. That's a little <laughs> A lot of crutch medium kicks. Hey, it's a good button, alright? You're just gonna press it. I yeah, it is minus, but you know what? When they're not pressing on it, we take those. And take the throw. All right, advance. Uh, getting away with a uh, a very oppressive offense. Set point here for advance. What a turnaround after that. Uh, that pretty solid first game from JB Fournay. Interruption. No confirm, but that's okay. Man, Same that, side into the back. That's throw. maybe the third or fourth time that advance has successfully ex dive kick the crouch first from JB Fournay. Yeah. I mean, it's good on advance for showing that he's willing to alternate yeah. between the ground game and the air game, which is like just what makes Cammy so good. Yeah. Um, be blocking well that time, but yeah, it just has to eat those mediums over and over again. Oh, nice that punishes punish. the elbow. Really nice. Nice challenge on both ends. Backing off from sitting from uh, advance. All right, we're dancing around. B trigger went on deck. Uh, advance doesn't have a whole lot in the way of a. Uh, Oh, he blocks the uh, the wheel. He just tried to shimmy and he didn't hit confirm, but that's okay. Life is low. Going for the V skill. Oh, he knows it's plus. 
and takes the throw for it. Advance oh. takes it two to one in a in a uh, I want to say butt clenching set. Uh, set yeah, going on. <laughs> indeed, absolutely. Really solid stuff from both players, I thought. Um, and uh, I, I, I definitely, I definitely felt that like uh, just to speak on JB Fournay's sort of game plan going into that one that. I felt that he was just a bit too static and uh, like in his approach and in the neutral. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, just, just whipping bu buttons in a range that uh, advance could easily sort of catch him at. I think, yeah, I, like I see JB uh, talking about Canadian connection. Yeah, yeah, like this is a we we are a little loose Fair with enough. The connections. We are a little loose with how far we're allowing the connections to go. So, like my connection with advance is good. Uh, but like my connection with JB might not be so like the that's how it be. Uh, that being said, some of the points of contention may be like pressing after crouch medium punch, which is like a bit of a frame trap is a little is a little risky and that like that got that got JB in a little bit of trouble. Uh, for advance as well, like maybe being a little too timid in certain situations got him in a little trouble in the first game. So like there there there's a bunch of elements of a lot of different things, but. Moving on to the next set anyway. Um, and we are going to have Arlie versus Nick. And we're going to have a Rashid mirror match. Oh my oh. god, and they both... I know, I know Nick always goes with Airman Rashid. I can't believe yeah. Arlie went it too. This cost him. <laughs> I think Arlie has given in to the Satsumi. Because he stole Nick's color as well, right? Because Nick, Nick is on the right, right? No, uh, I, actually, that may be the case. Yeah, Nick always goes with the green yep. and white. Oh yeah, yeah he did. so Arlie just took games. his colors. You son the of my god! Games. But Nick's the gonna work it back at you now. <laughs> He's not gonna give you a chance now. Oh no! Because you took his colors. Oh no! Why'd you do that, Arlie? Why'd you do that? <laughs> Arlie had health. Um, <laughs> oh no! And and there and there it goes. So I mentioned in the last set that sometimes just having a stellar offense can ignore your opponent's existence, and that's Absolutely. what we saw there with Nick's approach. Punish. So, oh, a uh, little known the fact: uh, Rashid is actually an anime character. Yeah, yeah, that, that triangle jump is absolutely absurd. <laughs> I see the matching the light punch. Uh, hey, it. magic slaps. That's what you want now, to do with Rashid. You want to press buttons. Now, for those who don't know, our Lee is mainly an Alex main, uh, has a bit of a Karen as well. Oh my god, uh, that was some Lizard Man shit right there. I can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> oh, Nick knows. Nick knows to, yeah, yeah. Nick knows to block <laughs> until his opponent shows him that they will run up throw. Uh -huh. um, and he will take a lot of throws. Um, yeah. Um, saw between the dive kicks and between the EXTPs, run up something is just not going to work against Nick. Yeah, that, that that game was definitely a Rashid mirror. Um, <laughs> Nick's mad. Nick, all over hey, Nick, Nick can't use his colors. That's that's some yeah. BS right there. Yeah. Round one. Yeah, these are seen, these are Nick technically these are technically CPT banned costumes. Thankfully, this is not CPT. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we can do what we want. We do what we like. like play on the grid. I was about to say, but, uh, feel free to pick the uh, airplane stage. By all yeah, means. Skies of Honor. No, one, I think that one's still on our bad list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No Flamenco now Tavern. Never allowed. No Kansas Beach. <laughs> oh man, Arlie just doesn't know when to press. This this offense is And he tried to press. And he just got got Nick stuck. right now. Oh man. I right, set point from uh, Mr. D's Nuts. Um, let's see. <laughs> How Arlie can try to fight back here. Oh, nice. he, he, he doesn't get the follow up. Anticipation. Oh yeah, yeah. Nick knows that Arlie's just gonna go for the the air the air spike. The throw though. Oh, oh he, he almost the spike, the but there's no dash. punish again. It's almost like Nick doesn't know how to punish his own. Oh, character. there's there's the shimmy with the spike. What tech? Um, there's the anti air. Anti air ex mixer. Arlie nice. doing a lot better. Nice air to air. Jump back jab. That was sick. Air again. Yeah, this is gonna go right through. Take it oh, to man. the corner. Oh man, he's still one too. Yeah, this is some. Look what at, is that? What combo? is that? Spent the whole thing. That was so unoptimal, but I love it. Uh oh, he's gonna do it again. Look, looking yeah. cool is the oh, only thing I need. Do it again. 
Oh, baby. Nick uh, taking the last round out of Arlie's hands. Good stuff from Arlie for the last round, but yeah, that was... <laughs> it was worth it, he says. That's what happens when you steal a man's colors. That's what happens. Can't be doing that. Too much disrespect. Yeah, well, that was just some pure, solid Street Fighter uh, 5 action. Um, Nick obviously takes a 2 over Arlie. And that concludes our second round, actually. All right. Everybody oh, report their scores. We got, yeah, here, yeah uh, let's... Just last two. So advance was 2-1, and Nick was 2-0. There we go. There we go. All right. Good sports, to everybody. Again, this is yeah, uh, again, this is much more of a casual setting. We just kind of want to relax and decompress after the week, and maybe show off some things we've learned since the last uh, underdog. So, plus, there's definitely something to be said for just generating some replays to throw at the coaches here. For sure, okay. absolutely. Um, all right, so uh, so so Nick, three. what I need. So Nick, what I'm going to coach you is, you see that? That's minus twenty. <laughs> in the face by Nick. <laughs> Stealing another man's colors. That's at least minus twenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So who do we got in round three here? Who do we like? I'm liking the look of, uh, I'm liking the look of uh, Silver Dono and Zenora. I think that that could be a pretty yeah, cool yeah. matchup. Yeah, Zenora wants it. He says, put me on stream, coach. You won't be disappointed. Oh, he's okay. All right. All right. And then... Um, Calling his shot. We're going to get a repeat of somebody. Um, oh, we we kind of have to at this we point. Haven't, we haven't seen Golden Flame. We haven't seen Celsius. Uh, we And we haven't seen Kuma. Uh, I'm, up for, I'm up for giving Arlie a shot at actually being on stream. Um, yeah, playing his character, yeah. Playing the character. <laughs> yeah, like, why don't we do that? Just let's be a good sport about it, and maybe in uh, round four we can hit Golden Flame Akuma. Uh. All right, all right. Uh, if That's you guys really want funny. to uh, shill the Macharino again, real quick, I need to step away for just oh, a yeah. second. I will be right back. Go for it. By all means, Wulong, tell tell the people, tell the good people. All right, about the so. Work. If by some chance you have not uh, heard yet, um, this underdog season we are raising a little bit of money, um, and it is all going towards a really good cause. Um, every penny that we are raising over the course of this underdog season is going to the National Alliance to End Homelessness, um, which is obviously an amazing group that's doing amazing work. Um, we do have a Macharino. You can just do exclamation point Macharino in the Twitch chat, and it'll take you to their fancy new updated page, which looks great, by the way. And you uh, you actually can go ahead and click the claim code button and type in the letters NCH and add a dollar at no cost to you. It's actually free money, and there's 14 of them left. So um, if you could do that, that's great. Uh, you also can throw a little bit of money at it uh, from your own pocket, we would greatly appreciate that. Um, and we even have some cool merch on the Maturino, uh from uh, of a variety of things that you can get. Uh, that a portion of that will also go to what we're we're putting towards the charity. So um, definitely hit the link and, and check it out, man. It's some good stuff. Hey, actually, I should check that link. I should make sure I've donated. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. We've used up almost all of the coupon codes. Only fourteen left. Um, that's awesome, but it would be Only. cool if we had zero that's left. So many that left. That's so many left. We can do this. Well, now it's down to thirteen. I, I, I see. I see, with the new match arena, you can actually see who's using the coupon codes. So I do want to shout out Rob Lee. Just redeemed it. Um, Adam R, who's like some Urian scrub. Um, Maverick <laughs> Toast, uh, Izanora, JB Fourne. We got some people who are competing right now, redeeming the codes. I love you all. Um, yeah, solid stuff. Oh, we have one of our one of our NCH coaches, uh, Tricked, also known as Fight Dad, redeem me a code. Appreciate it, buddy. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. So, uh, just to uh, explain a little bit, so uh, our upstairs neighbor, their uh, wash machine, the drain backed up and flooded our washing area and kitchen. So, how's your weekend going? No, man. My chickens live through the weekend, so that's good. <laughs> that's good. I didn't have to bury another chicken. <laughs> I don't know. 
don't know anything about keeping chickens. They, they make eggs. They're delicious. I don't know anything else. Oh, they're, they're dirty, filthy birds, but they're all right. That being said, uh, yeah, so that, we, that sounds like it sucks. Flooding is never fun. I, so here's the crazy thing. We have mm -hmm. moved, I think, at least once every two years for the past, like, ten years. And almost every single apartment we've lived in has flooded for one reason or another. Like, Man, we are I'm just sorry. monumentally unlucky with water. Like, somebody in my lineage, like, screwed over Poseidon or something? I don't know. You need to stop, you need to stop moving, because that's the thing. The, the, the flood timer gets reset every time you move. <laughs> that's, yep. that's what it is. All right, so I think I've sent Just... out all the invites we need sending here. We've got Arlie and Celsius in here already. Just waiting on Silver PC and Golden Flame. Okay. So, I uh, haven't seen Celsius before. I see the ranking, but again, ranking... Oh, wait, it was actually... It was uh, Silver Dono and Zenora, right? Or no? Uh, it was Silver PC Silver and Golden Dono. Flame. Oh, Oh no! You're right. You're right. It was Silver Dono and Zenora. I I made a mistake there. Let me grab them instead. That's probably why they didn't accept the invite. <laughs> no worries. No worries. Okay. So Celsius, I haven't seen play before. I wonder if they're new to the Discord in general. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I haven't. I'm not familiar with the name. They are welcome. Uh, I promise, not everybody plays like Arlie. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, I see the Colleen there. Colleen, people who tend to go to Colleen, they tend to enjoy like the slower game plan, like the the kind of slow paced neutral poking, quote unquote lame style of play. Um, Either that or they really like Arlie, ice skates. Whereas Arlie, I know definitely like again like it has a very impulsive nature in terms of like what they want to do next. Like they definitely don't like the pace of the match to be slow for too long. Um, I don't know if their hands just explode because they they wait too long. I I don't know. Um, like yeah, so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Is Celsius ready to like have countermeasures ready, or to keep to keep our lead in check, or are they just going to kind of get a little a little smothered? Yeah, there might be a little bit Anything of a mismatch on this round, specifically because Celsius uh, <laughs> did manage a buy in round one. Um, so they're both one and zero oh right now, and our Lee took his O, or excuse me, one and one, and he took his loss from uh, our good friend Nick. <laughs> Being said, Arlie, Ryu. going with the Ryu, which I've never seen Arlie's Ryu. Oh man, this calling costume is uh, is goaded in my opinion. I love this calling costume. Pretty good. It's the Ada oh, costume. Oh, we got a dynamic, dynamic camera on that fireball. Camera work. Yeah, that was awesome. Right, okay, Arlie. That's what it is. That's that impulsive nature. Taking that minus two to try it to get a little cheeky. It might have worked in some other <laughs> timeline, but right now Celsius knows from... He is in bronze. He knows how this gameplay style goes. Oh, that he knew who jumps the throw. Oh my goodness. Wow. The the mix from Celsius right now. That's going to count And in the meaty. Wow. Really solid He's playing himself. the game. Yeah. This dude's playing the game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's been reading the Setsu document. He knows how to punish his DPS. He knows how to get his jumping combos going. Oh, right now Arlie's gonna oh, have to slow things down a little bit. Ooh, just a second too slow to punish that fireball. Oh, and then huge jump in for uh, Arlie. Gets the Oki, the meaty. Try to shimmy. Gets wow. a nice sweep off of the back jump, and now Arlie. Oh no! Drops the combo. It's gonna be a great counter hit conversion from Celsius there. Tries to get tricky. Oh, but the overhead. Oh, but the overhead oh, again. The double oh, overhead. <laughs> well, no, there was a nice little crouch light punch in between yeah. them to, it was, to, it was to, to stop them from pressing anything afterwards. Just tick overhead. Exactly. What? Tatsu? Okay, Tatsu's over the hail throw. It's not plus, but we're going to respect it anyway. <laughs> oh, that is that is fairly negative, yeah. Gets the, gets the punish. Oh wow, great great buffer in EX Hatsu there from uh from Arlie. Yeah, oh, right Rocky. now Celsius looking oh. a little Oh a oh. double shore you can I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Celsius is trying to gain a little bit of a close range momentum going on right now. 
So the pressure backs off just a little bit in case our lead decided to DP again. Our lead is just gonna keep, yeah, yeah. Our lead is just gonna keep back jumping in the corner, and with that, gets the air reset and the kill. Uh, our lead goes up game one. And part right. of that is, part of that is like, there are certain muscle memories you, that get ingrained in you, uh, often stuff that works. You know, they like jump back in the corner. Not a not a fantastic strategy, but it has the benefit of like air resetting some people that aren't ready for it, uh, avoiding throws, so on and so forth. Um, and it wow, just kind of worked out for Arlie in that sense. Okay. All right, back to the corner. Ooh, try to double dash. On the double dash. Yeah, maybe maybe a read, maybe just a misinput. Maybe just expecting Arlie to not quick rise. <laughs> Oh, misses the confirm in the hand. Yeah, Arlie's gonna get a punch there. Oh, gets the meaty stand heavy kick. That hurts. Oh, he just does oh, it. It works. He just does it again. Oh my do god, Arlie. Sometimes you just whip those out. You see, Arlie, Arlie was conditioning Celsius this entire time, and it finally paid off. He finally saw the fruits of his labor. Right now. All right, set point. <clears throat> There's the anti. Oh, anti I love nice. that voice line. Oh, the DP just gets his neutral jump. Oh man. Nice attempt at the anti air, was just a little late. Gets the oh, anti air parry. Are we gonna start seeing some empty jumps? Are we gonna see it? The patience, wow. Move to the face, that's what we're gonna see. DP that time. No DP in the one time you'd expect oh, the to DP. Hell, <laughs> X off, I like it. No activation off the sweep, so we're gonna get punished. No punish again. We got these long range pokes. There, no confirm oh, just yet. And fierce, but no buffer. Oh, that's probably oh, the target combo is unsafe on block. Yeah. He? No, he just presses buttons. No, oh, misinput. Input. Oh, Celsius might be cracking a little under the pressure. Oh. Yeah, it just gets hit with the last two. Yeah. A little bit of spaghetti at the end there, but. Yeah. Um, and, and a solid set, you know, taking for Arlie, but uh, I liked a lot of what Celsius was doing there. The, the patience, especially when they had Arlie in the corner, like just holding their range, not being vulnerable to a jump over out of the corner, and just being patient and getting a cr that crush counter forward heavy kick. Like, that was some solid stuff. That was some high level stuff. Yeah, you definitely have a groundwork there. I think the the next things, especially when you're when you want to play Colleen or to work on our like those uh, single hit confirms, especially off of stuff like stand medium punch, right. stand heavy punch. Um, the more grounded anti airs outside of just the uh, of the instead of just the uh, air parry, albeit the air yeah. parry was working quite well. Yeah, but, cra but calling Crouch Fierce is a is a pretty solid anti air. And uh, yeah, I think the big thing that gets people in trouble from the get go is like the timings. So it's, it's it's a tad awkward. Like you yeah. want to wait a tiny bit. You want to wait, but not wait too long. Um, because unlike a lot of spectacular anti airs, it has no uh, upper body. It has no air invincibility. Sorry, I got something like an air raid siren <laughs> going on outside my window. I'm going to just close that. I'll be right back. No, no worries. All right, so we got Lucia against Ryu. Obviously, we know Silver Dono is going to rock with the rock with the Ryu. Um, his exploits as a Ryu player are well known. Zenora with the Lucia. I I, I, I knew they, were, they played a jury, but uh, maybe they've been learning hmm. Lucia lately. Uh, anyways, getting right into it. Solid confirm off of the counter hit uh, shoulder there, but Silver Dono effectively fights out of the corner. Yeah, don't nice know how answer. much ex don't know how much experience Silver has against Lucia, but you know it's Ryu. You're basically gonna play the matchup the same every time. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, so solid, solid sweep as a whip punish, and then and then getting the opportunity to, to activate. Yeah, right now I think Silver Dono is gonna be a little pressed at these closer ranges because. Like Lucia definitely has a lot of elements of rush down that make her like a really oppressive character. Um, and this matchup in particular, like you don't want to be playing the fireball game. Like the Ryu's just gonna outpace you. It's... No, the last ten seconds or so of that round was kind of a masterclass from Silver Dono on spacing. Uh, just standing at the exact perfect space to where you can safely throw fireballs, but can effectively react if Zenora tries to jump it. That's exactly what he did. Okay, getting caught, just not knowing the strings and uh, trying to interrupt them when Zenora is just going to do them anyway. 
A little bit of a time skip there, but uh, back in it. Uh, see if I'm gonna see if I'm. Nice pokes from Zenora. Has a significant life lead. Wants to stay within the range where full screen fireballs are not a threat. Oh, silver. Yeah, that donkey kick is definitely negative. Can be punished. Yeah. All right, silver Dona, working on working on getting the life back to even. It's a tough spot for Lucia. How does she get in? How, how is Zenora going to approach here? Just like yeah, that. Ooh, oh, try to go cheeky. Yeah. Uh oh. Ooh, there's the donkey Don't kick. Kill. Oh, the baton work. Nice, oh, catches the dash, dash forward. Yeah. And we saw that earlier from Silver. He was like pressing crouch medium punch, crouch medium kick at that range because he was just kind of like trying to catch uh, Zen yeah. from like dashing forward, essentially. Um, I, 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 I don't know the frame data on sweep activate for Lucia. I assume it's it's positive because it, yes, it usually, yeah. or it's plus because it usually is. And what about the, the stones on Silver Tono to press <laughs> there? My goodness, and it ended up being the perfect call. I mean, it's it's so funny. Like I've I've been playing more young Zeku as of late, and like walk up stand medium punch is just so good against people that are very patient. But yeah. like, I think that's what Zen was trying to do, and like <laughs> Silver was just not gonna have any of it. He was <laughs> like, "Nope, you walk forward, I press button." Oh boy, the damage is coming now. Zen picking off some of these uh, bigger buttons, uh, pressing. Uh, instead of worrying about the DP because he knows Silver just is so uncomfortable at that close range. Really strong response from Zenora there. Just taking that round, no frills, very quick, very professional. But Silver Dono already building a pretty sizable life lead and is going to get the stun off the meaty stand medium punch. Okay, just going to keep the damn it. Okay, the sweep. Yeah, Zenora was determined to activate Ooh. there. Nothing was going no, to stop him. No, he doesn't have the DP activate. combo. Yeah, misses the punish though. Oh, so much damage left on the table, but it's okay. Oh, oh he gets another chance at it. This could be stunned. And it is. Stunned, unfortunately. The scaling's gonna Nora be. Zenora turn this round on its head. And Goes into the, the baton. Yeah. The scaling at the end of that was. Oh, he gets the free trap. Oh, uh, oh man. Wow. And so that's kind of what I brought up earlier. It's like. Silver is so comfortable at that fireball range. But once you get up close, it's yeah. it, it's almost anybody's game. Like frame traps, uh, DP baits, stuff like that will definitely like kind of push him a little over the edge. And that might be the next step for him to like work on. I know he's been right. playing Strive a lot more recently. Yes. Um, but like that's gonna be Zen's game plan right now. How do I get in so I can start that? Because I don't want to play this fireball game. I gotta play this yeah. close range game. So yeah, these sweeps, even though they're a little reckless, they the the reward for getting that knockdown is just so goddamn good. Hey, Zenora's got silver right where he wants it. Oh, he get he gets a oh, it just bust out, just bust out. I like that. Good air to air jab. Keeping that pressure on. Nice. And this, the counter hit stand fierce closes it out. I point. also just want to point out this color on Lucia, pretty crisp. I like it. it yeah, I, I, it's great. It's great. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. For I think sure. it's last season CPT colors. It, yeah, I, I think it is. Nice. All right, this is where Silver Dono wants to be. Oh, oh didn't have the DP. Okay. Get nice the punish. On the Get the, oh, guard break. the guard break. Jinx. Nice view reversal. I like that. Now Zen can just sit on this life lead, not risk anything with the uh, V trigger on deck. Really good tech from Zenora, defending against that dash up throw from Silver. Oh, there it is. Oh. The poke drops the combo, but no big punish from Silver. All right, Silver's Silver Dono is low yeah, on uh, resources. Again, challenges like yeah. not just being a little liberal with the frame data. Gets a punish off of the bad Tatsu anyway, and with that, yeah, it kind of goes for broke at the end there. But um, a good set from both players, certainly. Two and one, two and one. My bad. Two to one. To no, let me punch that in for him. Submit. Yeah, you really saw like. And I think this is a complaint some people have had, and like we kind of made fun of them a little bit because there's a bit of a naivete, uh, not specifically from Silver, but like, um, I think 
can only rely on a certain style of gameplay for so long, especially once you pass that that gold rank level. Um, Silver does really, really well with his fireball game plan. But once he's up close, he definitely like scrambles a bit. Like he might get out with an EXDP, he might get out with a with a with a challenge of some sort, but like really feels a lot less um what's the word I'm looking for. It feels a lot less calculated from him. <laughs> and, so be- and so because of that, yeah. it it becomes it becomes a coin flip as to whether he's even gonna get out. Not even if he's gonna win. It's it's a coin flip of whether he's gonna get out. And so Zenora um just had a little bit more experience at that close range and knew he could just keep throwing out sweeps keep throwing out run tackles so on and so forth until he finally got in and once he did it was just like it was just his game like he just had to make a few right guesses and that was it right all righty going into round four i know we said we were gonna catch kuma and we were gonna catch golden flame i believe they're the only ones we haven't seen on stream yet this evening and round five, oh. we usually try and save for the, uh, you know, the top top onesie twosies to try and see who's going to close out the uh, the bracket for the evening. All right, I'll let him know. Round. Oh, oops, I hit the wrong button. Round four. Okay. So who haven't we seen? We haven't seen Kuma, so they're going up against Advan. Oh, did you already pick them? And I just wasn't yeah. listening. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, he did. Just not, not a gun. I knew I heard something in the back of my my mind, but I was like in that chat or something. <laughs> Speaking of which, howdy chat. I see 28 of you in chat, so that means there's more people than in the tournament. So thank you to all that showed up and are not just looking for their own matches and stuff like that. All right. Um, I, I, speaking of the Twitch chat, I see Coach Josh talking a little bit wild with the give Yuri in a three frame. I, you know, that's a hot take. <laughs> Um, I, I would not appreciate that if that actually happened. I, I don't think it would make a few things more annoying against, like, it would give him, it, it would, it would limit some of the pressure sequences that you can have against him a bit. Um, I really don't feel like it would change much in terms of what I see on CPT and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, pr- probably just changing it, him from four frame, four frame to three frame. It wouldn't like seismically change anything, but I, I think it would have a big impact at like the highest level, like tournament level, is those those fine margins definitely uh, can make maybe. a huge difference. So maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely certain, but anyway, I just want to see uh, ex tackle be uh, punishable. Cool. <laughs> this is the man with the plus one dash punch. He but needs anyway. that, dude. <laughs> yeah, he also needs it to OS with his V reversal. But anyway, yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I love I love winning when that happens. I try to be. Oh my god, it's the worst. Like win. now that ever since it's like it's like uh, Pandora's box. Now that I know that, because when I get hit by that, I'm like, God damn it! He meant to V reversal. Yeah. Yep. He just got. He just got. Yep. Uh, I was playing Salt yesterday. Um, I was playing Salt, who's a Bison player here, and he, you know, he's pretty good. But like. Uh, I was using Young Zeku, and I wanted to challenge uh, with stand heavy kick, which is like forward moving, and you know it's like basically zero on block. Um, and he happens to dash forward with Bison at that moment, and it, <laughs> it it just the invincibility meets just at the right time where my stand heavy kick whips. I'm like, you lucky yeah. son of a gun! Yeah, you did not like do that on reaction. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it is not a genius play. It is just a happenstance. But anyway, ugh, feels bad, man. Um, that being said, right. I don't know if I don't know if the players are just enraptured by my story, but we can get started. We yeah. do not have to to wait around. Yeah, we we just need Golden Flame to go to the back here. Oh, okay, that's what it is. He probably yeah, yeah. I think he's, I standing, he's, he's standing in between Advance and uh, and uh, Kuma versus going Kuma at or Golden Flame versus uh, one of the two. Yeah, either somebody explain it to him or Advance. If it, Advance can just start and then if. If Golden Flame starts, we can just kick him. <laughs> and we can still only come back. It looks like Golden Flame. They're running out. He's got the menu. Hey, 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 there it is. It. Earning steps. Still better than Strive. Still better than Strive. <laughs> For the moment. I mean, we don't know what Arxis is going to do. They could do something completely unlike Arxis and fix the lobbies. 
Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'd rather at this point, I'd rather they work on just connection to server, get faster, and uh, they were talking mad stuff like not only crossplay, but like adding rollback to older games. Like oh, yeah. work on that. The strive yeah, lobbies some... can 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 continue to be crap. Give That's me some fine. Some rollback in Grand Blue. <laughs> some rollback in Uni. Rollback in DBFZ. <laughs> eh, you know, whatever. Rollback in Street Fighter I don't love playing DBFC. I love watching it. So I would love <laughs> that game to get like a second life because of rollback. So by all means, please. All right. That being said, right into it. Into the game that doesn't have rollback. Or actually, it does. Oh, it's just, just garbage, <laughs> right? Sad. Imagine yeah. if it didn't, though. But anyway. Have advanced versus GG. He's a uh, Urian coming suited and booted here. Let's see. He's definitely winning the fashion fight, but let's see if he can win the fist fight. He's got the scarf. See, That's all he needs. This is of course like a notoriously bad matchup for uh, Urian. But if really? you miss your dive kick, yeah, the, the Cami Urian is notoriously bad for Urian. Damn, Urian's low tier, um, man. It's tough. It's tough <laughs> Urian player. Um. Just ask Adam in the chat. I'm oh, sure the, the, it. The, it, the last active frame of that EX headbutt caught, I swear. Oh my god, the headbutt's really just sick. getting him all the way through. Oh, he's backing up. Oh, punishes the, the V skill charge with the spin knuckle. That was pretty cool. That was the right. That was definitely a, a, a good recognition from Advance. Yeah, GG playing from full screen right now. Uh, Advance does not have to go in, but you know, he's Cammy, he's gonna do it anyway. <laughs> oh, and he gets the activation. Okay, he's got a pixel, let's see what he can make happen with it. That was so ambiguous, yeah, that was really yeah. good. The point, you just had to hope, I, I would, you had to press stand heavy kick as Yuri and hope that Ant's here is in time. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, Advance takes the first, uh, round. Oh, we can get a big punish here from, uh, oh, okay, he opts for the side switch. Oh, okay. Oh, the EX3 switch is Advance pressing. Oh, he goes for it Plus again. Plus frames. Stance here. Oh, just pressing stand fierce at that range. Shimmy a little bit, but no punish. Oh, advance? I feel like Advance is not playing GG right now. I feel like Advance is not recognizing some of the stuff that GG is doing and getting away <laughs> wow. with a little bit. You know? Like, he's shimmying when, when there's no point to shimmying at the moment. Uh, oh, he's pressing when he shouldn't be pressing, stuff like that. Nice dive. Man, at the oh moment, got, got, got a sizable life lead. But Advance does have resources. Ooh. Yeah, didn't uh -huh, keep it tight got him enough. GG's. Class. Yeah, pretty much. All right, all tied up on rounds. Um, yeah, yeah, this, this, this like, super patient. Uh, oh, that was super. The thunder. GG might be kind of throwing Advance off. Who knows? Yeah. Who wants the super? I don't know what's going on with his inputs. Yeah, but he eventually gets in. He gets the back throw, and he's in. GG. And there we go. Here, we just have to keep it solid. Don't worry about the X headbutt. Oh no! Oh, Did into they... the mirror. Oh, he just yeah. reverses out of it. He's just gonna back up through the mirror again. GG seems to enjoy the lame play, the full screen lame play. Okay, into the Schmitz. Eats the throw. Oh, that's... He jumps that's himself into, into the corner. corner. Sweeps, sweeps yellow. Oh, that's gonna punish. Yep, really solid from the there. There you go. The okay. simple frame trap. It works. That advance is gonna take game number one. Yeah, re really solid from advance to uh, stay patient um, in the face of you know GG wanting to play at that full screen range. Uh, really picking his, really picking his moment to strike. And then once yeah, he was, was in, he didn't let up. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, he, he because uh, the first game went so heavily in his, first round went so heavily in advance of favor just because he was sticking to the frame traps. Like, he didn't really need to get too fancy about it. Um, the second round, he started doing stuff like shimmies and stuff, assuming GG was going to switch up his defensive style, right. his defensive options, and GG didn't. And <laughs> just kind of threw advance yeah. off of it. Um We'll see if things change up in this last round. But yeah, I at the moment, GG is really. working with a slight life lead. Oh, yeah. that is yeah. He is in the corner now, and now he's gonna have to guess. There oh, he bets oh, it he's all. not close no enough. Punish. Yeah, just the the awkward hurt box after the ex headbutt. Yeah, he's gonna get in again. He's not pressing. Now the defensive options have changed. 
October. Oh, he busts out from the activation. Oh, the, the early, early it. crouching fears. What? Oh, he headbutts oh. to close the space and then gets the throw. Advance with low health, but he gets a huge jump in. Let's see what he can make happen. He gets oh, he got up. cheeky. He got a little cheeky. EX headbutt? No, yeah, he gets I, cheeky I, with the reset. I felt EX headbutt in my bones. I was surprised when that was not the case. The oh, comeback, man. though. I wonder, I wonder if Gigi didn't headbutt because he saw Advance go in the air. I don't know. Hmm. There it is. Yeah, again, just doesn't get the punish. At that point, just stand heavy punch. At that point, at this. Regular punish for you. Let's see how GG fights back Stand after up. losing that last round in okay, uh, just in goes with the Like it. Nice, that's why. See, that's why the smash it sucks. Because Yurin can't get his 250 anti air off of Kami. Alright, I like how advanced side switch. Oh, he gets the target combo into Mirror. Let's see, let's see what he can make happen here. This is when Yurin is at his most dangerous, of course. Oh. Oh, the nerf. Wow. Nerf. Oh, yeah, the that mirror was there. The that one's not the nerf. Cool. That was just V triggered. Oh, boy. No follow up this... on the uh, headbutt. No, oh, he tried got... to get cheeky with the reset. And oh, the dash up throw, throw is going to get an advance. Wow. GG taking wow. a sneaky little round at the end there. Yeah. Really solid. Hey, it to, might not uh... be the end. You know, GG could take this round and then oh, we'll no, go, no. go to game three. Absolutely, it could totally happen, but that being said, those jump-ins are quite nice. Trying to bait that EX headbutt again. Gets in, gets the pressure. Okay. He just, just does it anyways. Oh my god, that hitbox on the EX DP. Yeah, it gets right by. Oh, he spent knuckles through the EX fireball. Yeah, just oh, kill gets him. Gets the stun on GG, and that's gonna be it, yeah. Yeah. And it's I mean, like, there's definitely a, um... Gigi had no intention of playing a, a, a playing a footsie game. <laughs> he had no intention of using pokes or counter pokes at all. It was either fireball, headbutt, ex knee, or uh, or tackle. I, we barely even saw tackle, even at that. Um, so like it, it it definitely played out in what it was. It was on advance to have either an answer to those, which we didn't actually see. Instead, we saw an answer to the fireballs with the EX power arrow, and we saw just a, a slaughter of pressure that would break any man. So, <laughs> um, I think the moral of the story there is uh, you need to you need to be able to play that neutral to stop your opponent from getting in at you, and throwing fireballs from full screen is not going to keep them out, especially if they're camming. Like, Yuri just doesn't work like that. He just doesn't. Yeah. He just doesn't win that way. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's admittedly, it's 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 hard for lots of characters to keep Kami out, but she has so many uh, yeah. approach options. But yeah, for sure, it's just all it just comes down to experience. Honestly, I I, mm -hmm. I I bet I bet if GG gets with advance or any Kami and just runs the set, he'll 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 definitely. Uh, I he'll I wouldn't be tools. surprised to see GG using that play style against plenty of other opponents and doing very well with it yeah um it's not a mark against his play style as a whole it's just that when you're facing an opponent that clearly has an answer to it you need an alternative method right if precisely you to, if you want to do well against them all right golden flame the soccer player uh and i was always interested to see soccer players i, I feel like i don't run into a, a lot of them perfect uh, personally which I, I really appreciate she, she destroys balrog but, um, <laughs> yeah, no, no dash punches for you. Yeah. Oh, what an ex heal over the fireball from Coach Josh. That was really nice. And he has the corner pressure here. Let's see how Golden Flame defends. Huge crush counter. He was a really oh. nice poke. He didn't get the full conversion off of it, but like, yeah, the yeah, he was range. There. Yeah, it was right there. Right now, so far, Coach Josh, Josh has the has the skies covered. He has the anti airs on deck. Now he he had to take two big jump ins before before he was yeah. considering the air approach. How would be? Ooh, yeah, that's just a charge again. Nice Play ex out. reversal. Tried Ooh. to get the sweep Gosh. activation, but Coach Josh was ready with crouch medium kick for it. There we go. Yeah. Uh, a solid round from both players, though. Um, just Co Coach Josh was able to play his game of keeping Golden Flame on the other side of the screen a little more effectively. Really nice, nice anti-air from Stance. What a call-out. That being said, 
Ooh. It's gonna be on Golden Flame. Yeah, okay, so there's two things that Golden Flame needs to do. The more important one is convert these back fierces yeah. to, to specials. That was like 500 damage that was lost out on both of those jump-ins. So, uh, yeah, Cle clean cleaning up those conversions would go a long way right now. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a shimmy from Coach Josh is backing up and hitting Roundhouse. I yep, knew the DP was coming. This should kill. So, oh. there's a couple things. The, the biggest one is definitely those conversions off those jump-ins, because Golden mm -hmm. Flame got some good jump-in timing on For Coach, sure. Coach Yeah, Josh. great. Um, but the other thing, especially in the Poison matchup, you have to understand you cannot charge Fireballs when she has meter, because she has that EX heal, which just goes right. by them. Um, and then the other thing is, if your if your if your opponent poison is using the whip to get an anti air, a preemptive anti air, that's when you can start walking forward. So you have to start making that 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 balance between them. Like, oh, I'm I'm going to take this time to walk forward into an awkward jump angle, um, so on and so forth. But and we're in a new set again, not fully converting. So it's it's like you just want to help. You just want to you just want to do the combo for them. <laughs> There's plenty of time for that. Oh, nice launcher. Coach Josh got his full conversion right off the bat into the meaty. And with that. Ooh, oh, doesn't drops it actually. There. Hmm. there it is. Oh, uh, I think it's called Love Me Tender, right? It is Love Me Tender, yes. Uh, hmm. the love me tendies, as we like to call love it. Love me tendies. Oil. I do love me some tendies. Absolutely. Who would? Um, I I saw Golden Flame go for the anti-air ex fireball, and I wonder. I hope that that might have been a call out for the love me tender. But if he's listening, and we can tell him later, love me tender, of course, ex version is projectile invincible, so you're just not gonna hit it out of uh, with a ex fireball, unfortunately. Another solid anti here from uh, Coach Josh. He's definitely been watching the skies, uh, with a few exceptions. A bit more, yeah. A little late. Oh, sweep nice catches sweep. Him. I, I like that. I, I like that call out because Coach Josh has has tried to advance after uh, anti air a few times. So, all right, a activate the trigger for Golden Flame. Let's see what he can do with it. He's got fire. Using these pokes really hands. nice. Who's the oh, zone? Who's jumping? Oh, oh once again. Once again. conversion. No conversion from Josh. He thought that was going to be a, a counter hit, I guess. Oh, that, that's tough. That's tough. Sometimes they can just throw that out in neutral. And oh, there and it is again. Yeah, the kiss of death is the is the fireball when the poison is ready for it. Yeah, it's it's just so rough. You see that meter and you're like, cool, I can't throw fireballs against yeah. the zoner. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, I, I I personally thought Golden Flame showed a lot of like really good patience and at times spacing, and you know he definitely had good timing on his jump ins. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, of course, just you know leaving a little bit too much damage on the table, and, and that's just you know going in training mode, grinding the combos out, and then going yeah. in matches and grinding them in real game situations. But Absolutely, thankfully, that's like, a really easy fix. Yeah, because those situations, like it's beyond even just the damage you're leaving at the table. It's the pressure you can get afterwards. It's the yeah, momentum the you can start carrying, like. Ironically enough, uh, Coach Josh, despite playing the zoner, uh, quote unquote, uh, he had more of that momentum going for him. He had better Oki situations just because he was able to convert his combos fully. Um, like Street Fighter Five, like because, like in part because the combos are much more more lenient in execution, uh, there is a higher emphasis on getting them down and getting them down pat um, because. Anything else just leaves you with worse options on the table in terms of neutral, in terms of offensive uh, pressure, in terms of damage, in terms of everything. So, definitely want to get those down. At last right, round. So looks right like for the last round here, we have probably to no amount of surprise, uh, Nick sitting on top of the rankings. Uh, he's going to be facing Kuma as the uh, basically the grand final here. Um, and okay. then we have kind of a two two-way mix-up here between um, Savior, Mika the Destroyer, Arlie, and Zenora all sitting on three and one. So uh, my suggestion is why don't we just do all three of those for final round here. We can see the uh, the top three matches here and uh, close out the evening. Sounds good. Uh, let me let him know. Uh... Okay, well that's exciting. 
And I will try and save uh, Nick versus Kuma for the last one, because that will most likely be our, our grand finals. Didn't get to play Advanced or R. Lee. Well, you know what? They live in this Discord, more or less. So if you want a chance to fight them, just ask in the uh, SF5 lobby section or even general chat. Just ping them yeah. and ask for some matches. Drop the ping, absolutely. All right, cool, cool, cool. So they know fight's going out. All is good. Already at the end of the night here. Um, and, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of good stuff from a lot of players that I hope to see back. Uh, I mean, unfortunately for this season, there's only one more sort of open tournament. And then we have our Invitational Finals. But, right, right. yeah, I hope to see everyone uh, who entered tonight back in a couple weeks. And uh, maybe a couple more who we haven't seen uh, tonight. And uh, yeah, yeah, we'll send this season out with a bang, right? Definitely. Hopefully, Absolutely. we can get a, a bit more money sitting in that uh, Maturino pot for our friends over at National Alliance to end homelessness as well. For sure. Uh, definitely. Yeah, if you haven't codes. gotten yourself a uh, new Challenger t shirt yet, if you don't uh, have a drinking cup and you want to pick up one of those collectible Street Fighter cups, or maybe you're looking for some more uh, manga to put on your uh, your bookshelf. Definitely hit those up, or just do the coupons. We got uh, plenty of coupons remaining. Uh, we gotta, we gotta put the scent of manga under Denzel's nose. Maybe he'll, he'll, <laughs> bite. he'll bite. Yeah, quite the connoisseur. I mean, come on, weebs in. Yes. Connoisseur. Absolutely. I've seen what he what he reads. He is not a connoisseur of anything, <laughs> <laughs> but he'll read. He he'll read have it. Regardless. A fine taste. Anyway, I don't want to get into this on my. I don't want to get into this. <laughs> yeah, on talking about the, we're talking to do with the podcast. <laughs> oh my god, that thing! That All right, so thing. our first but matchup anyways. looks like uh, Mika versus Zenora. Cool. Mm -hmm. is, these these are all of our uh, three and one finalists here. So we're hoping for some of them to go four and one, and some of them to go three and two. Unfortunately, but that's yeah, just this, how it plays out. Yeah, these first two sets are basically going to be for the the other podium places, uh, second mm. and third. Everybody fighting for silver right now. Yeah, pretty Fair. much. That's so fair. basically, one of our we're we're going to end up with at least uh, I believe two uh, four and ones. We could mm -hmm. possibly end up with three four and ones if Nick loses his match. It could happen. Um, but Swiss is very good at tie-breaking. There's a lot of math and things already set up and baked into the challenge there, so we don't have to do a we don't have to bust out our own calculators. And uh, we should have some um, math. Math is for nerds, for us, not for us cool Street Fighter Five players. But anyways, gonna get Mika Destroyer, Isenora pulling out the jury for real for reals. Oh, it's okay. Isenora is bringing the heat. The mm -hmm. main? Mm -hmm. uh Oh. I mean, Mika Destroyer is obviously a strong player, so I totally understand. Oh God. Okay, and fast so forward strong. into the brimstone. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. Fast forward oh, no. into Mika corner play. Oh throw. no, like this. He's taking the throw. Did he actually block? Oh, he was gonna nice, keep taking nice the throw. We're gonna get the activation. No V reversal on deck for Mika. They're gonna have to just take this pressure. Big oh, damage coming their way. The peach. No, he oh, no, drops, drops the, the sequence. He gets Oki off it though. It was all calculated. He could just like clearly just a reset. Oh dear! Yeah, jury beat trigger one. Oh, so close to stun. Well, and, yeah, you wow. got a little cheeky, Zenora. Not dead, but now in the corner. Mika again. has not a Shiko on deck too. Oh, Holy but he catches a pressing. Moses. Jury, so. jury frame data makes absolutely no sense, and I won't even pretend <laughs> to try to understand it. But Mika the Destroyer clearly got caught off guard. Yeah, I was trying to do that drop kick just to get in one last time, and uh, Zenora was just ready with the light DP. So strong. Knows how to punish it though. Nice count hit conversion. Ooh, Bam. Gets hit. That hurts. That's stunned. Yeah, Azenora is determined not to not to block this whack ass mix up, but instead <laughs> of getting hit by the whack ass mix up. That can go into command grab. Yeah. Oh, and then there the reset. Ah, so yeah. so filthy, so filthy. My goodness. And everybody's got meter. We're we're, uh, we're not spending that today apparently. <laughs> I mean, there's, for Mika, there's no reason to. And for Izanora, the only option is DP. You're going to DP against a Mika? Ugh. 
like a 50-50 I mean, shot, you, you end up dead. <laughs> you just gotta make sure you do it at the right time. That's all. Now Eisenhower trying to use that light DP as a poke, but it's just not really working in most scenarios. There it is again. Yeah, I definitely, like, I definitely like to see Dropkick called out once, for sure, at least. Yeah, um, Jury definitely has some good callouts <gasps> for it. So. Yeah, Nika the Shrug getting so much mileage off of Charge Dropkick here. Uh oh, oh, going in now to Shiga. This might, this might be dead. I don't know. Oh, not quite. That's gonna drop. There's oh, the DP. What's for the sweep? Oh, this he won't the dash kill. Counter hit. Oh man. Oh my God, nice he, hit. he will kill. Oh. What? What was that interaction? What just happened? Oh my goodness, the the, the EX the, Capcom decided oh, that okay. one. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen that before. Fortunate drop for Mika gives Isenora yeah, the chance. Yeah, Isenora wins out around. on the scramble at the end there. I mean, it was a good amount of sequences with the V Trigger one. Like it, that was a that was a traditional Street Fighter Five comeback. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, damn. A little bit of a little bit of spaghetti, but all right. So now we're taking a 1-0 over Mika the Destroyer, yeah. but that game could have gone either way, obviously. So, look, okay, not getting punished, not stopping the drop kick though. Our right, hit. This is not stunned, but it's close. Oh, <gasps> he tried again for the giant swing, but it was just yeah, a little too far. Getting oh, the yeah, low into the knockdown. Shows. Break. Dan oh, medium kick not doing the job here. everybody claims that it should. Not being the sword normal, everybody says that it is. In the throw. I'm surprised he was close enough for that throw, to be honest. Oh, the the, the elbow whiffs. Yeah, he wants to activate, of course. That's Ooh, it. Oh. Up. Damn. Bitten on the face for the round one win. Yeah, I mean, Eisenhower, he wants the EX pinwheel out of there, but uh, it's just getting stuffed every time. Yeah. Okay, plus frame. Nice, he just blocks. Tries to Keep dash cool. in afterwards after those minus, uh, that minus uh, target combo. Oh. The, Gets the conversion. The, what's so interesting to me about this set so far is that Mika the Destroyer is having a better job, ha is doing a better job in these poking games, in these in the in the uh, mid-screen poking game, which should be Jury's <laughs> advantage. Oh, like, that's where Jury should man. win. What I, was I that? <laughs> It's just spend the meter. Who cares? I, yeah. he, he got the he got the round. It, it was a meaty. It was a meaty. Uh, uh, Perfectly calculated. Yeah. Yeah, like frame kill. Eisenhower, yeah. Eisenhower was trying to rely on the light DP and the me sand medium kick, and it, it just wasn't working as a sort of counter poke. Uh, Mika the destroyer was just having that stand medium punch at a range that was just constantly counter hitting that he can confirm off of. Or then going to the drop kick at a further range where Eisenhower was just not challenging. Oh That's dear. Huge crush yeah, again, my goodness. Damn medium kick just getting stomped on all day. But yeah, one thing I would like to see Eisenhower do is maybe just mix up his defensive tendencies a little bit. We haven't seen him go for V reversal or V shift like at all. Um, and that might oh, be just the thing he needs to sort of throw off yeah. Nika the Destroyer's offense. I want to see yeah. more stand heavy kick. I want to see more offensive presence in the neutral. Because right now, it's all Mika in the neutral right now. It, it really feels, feels like Mika has a better finger on the pulse of the tempo in this match. Like, yeah. just yeah, threading those buttons into the, the exact right timings. And Sonora is just, just a, a half step out of sync every time. No yeah. M Mika has definitely made adjustments from that first game that he dropped to Zenora and uh, is right now firmly in the driver's seat. Um, so let's see how how Zenora tries to fight back here. He's being more active. He's pressing buttons. Definitely is. Uh, Mika kind of took, for that metaphor, took the foot off the gas pedal, though. Definitely playing a little slower, just waiting for something. Oh, man. He's a DP because of it. Anti air crouch heavy punch. You love to see it into the reset, into a combo. Take those plus frames. Oh my god! Oh, Anything's an anti air if you're brave enough. He, he just wanted to activate. That's all he wanted to do is activate. And uh, <laughs> Adashiko said, over. What if I said no? What What if you ate this <laughs> dive kick? But the bear call was the forward jump afterwards. Like, I know he yeah. wanted to put him in the sandwich, but like. Don't worry, Mika can't see it. Oh, that worked out so well. Yeah. Dang. Really Dang. solid from Mika the Destroyer there. Yeah. Uh. And uh, he, he'll take that 2-1 over Zenora, but still a strong showing from Zenora uh, mm -hmm. and Mika throughout this entire tournament uh, to be competing for the podium places at the end.
All right, so Definitely. the next one we need to see here is Savior versus R. Lee. So yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> if we can get Nick and uh, no, Kuma to go no, to the back, we, you're in the right spot. We need you. We need you. Yeah, you and it's R. All Lee. Good, so let's we'll have Gigi go to the back, and then we'll we'll get popping here. GG to the back, please. Okay, if they're uh, actually listening to the stream. Oh, there it is. There it oh, is. Oh, here it comes. Oh, maybe. No. Oh, he thought about it. He almost had it. <laughs> no, nope, don't ready not up. Quite. Don't do it. Don't not press quite. the button. Here, I'll ping. I'll ping him. Uh -oh, I'll uh, go to back feet. Got the menu open. Damn it. Yeah. You open the menu and you hit go back. Uh, <laughs> That's the first step. All right. In the meantime, what I'm excited to see, Advance, definitely a player who wants to play correctly. Like, I feel like it's oh. both a... It's He'll both just a, drop oh. and, and, and rejoin. That, that works Fair too. Fair enough. Right. That works too. Rejoin yeah. a bit. He definitely wants to play correctly, and it's understandable. Um, sometimes I think he's a little too hard on himself in that regard. Like, he, 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 he tries to push himself to be too correct, and it just, like, overloads him a bit. Right. Um, but like you know he wants to be precise and he wants to do things correctly arlie is so much more impulsive will we'll challenge you in situations that you think no person should because they, they their impulse is just to try to get away or to try to take advantage of a situation or so on and so forth assuming he even goes for alex i'm, I'm talking about his alex as if it's ever even going to appear tonight yeah it's true <laughs> um but like and I, i'm gonna be i am personally interested in seeing how these two game styles will clash together oh my god what <laughs> so so Arlie is going with alex as... wait what 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 is the meaning of this advance when when did when did, when did he ever play yuri and ever I, I don't know. Maybe he's feeling himself. If he is, if he just wants to play how he wants to play, I, I'm all for it. All you do is hold back for one second, right? and then you go forward and a kick. All you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. Double oh, dash he dashes in. Through. Oh, through the... goodness. Yeah, this is a different advance we see in. Oh, he jumps in, does not what? punch the flash shot. He's going to every punch. Oh, he's Getting eating everything. counter hit all day. All right, gets the meaty slash. Low forward yeah. fight fends off Arlie. Oh, oh, okay, the the headbutt whiffs, but uh, Advance wasn't close enough to get both hits on the Crouching Fierce. He's gonna go for it again. Oh no, he goes with Stan Heavy Kick. Activate. Alright, in the mirror. Let's see what he can make happen. Oh, what? okay. It's... What? What was... So, I get what Arlie was doing there. He wanted to go for a knee uh, uh, to OS fire? the throw, but he, he just whiffed the throw. <laughs> Trapper makes up, not confirming. Yeah, how do you go for a reset? Because he wasn't gonna kill there. Oh, he can just go in. He's gonna keep stomping his way to the... Yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna keep stomping. <laughs> He's gonna parry something. You'll, you'll love watching having somebody having this much there fun in the game, oh. right? Yeah, I guess say Arlie is. is gaming right now. Certainly. Like yeah. He was just building meter. That's what it was. Definitely <laughs> some pro gamer moves. He's okay. Now we need to show head and shoulders as well beyond the knees. There's the shoulders. Nice. The yeah, X tackle. I like to see it. Oh, big jump in. The command grab. Oh, the meaty. My tears just yet. Oh, really oh just man. mashing. Time. Mashing the on that lariat. Blocking. He's fighting for his life. It's oh, lariat yeah. time. <laughs> Oh, just out of range. Oh, the Going for the sweep, just too late on the punch. Oh, he gets the jump over. Okay, this could be this could be big for advance. Let's see how he uh oh gets, he gets the overhead. Oh, oh, he drops the combo. Oh, Arlie's back no. in it. He throws the V reversal. And he goes in the dash of command grab. Oh, that was a series of unfortunate events, to be quite honest. Um, I don't know. L looked great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what you're talking about. It looked yeah. perfect to me. That's Arlie was having so much right fun. How, how can you fault him for that? Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's true. Um, yeah, we're going to character select. Yeah, I, I, I think. Yeah, it doesn't even stand. If we can get everybody to just over. shuffle to the back one more time. Yeah. But, you know, you, you have to commend Advance for uh, trying something new. You know, he, uh, he wanted to experiment. And, uh, you know, he had some 
success with Darian, but not enough to, to win a game. So, just see how it goes when he goes Cammy. I, I have to imagine Alex kind of struggles against Cammy. Uh, he can. The worst case scenario is that Alex gets stuck in the corner against Cammy. There's basically nothing he can do once that happens. Um, but on in a similar reverse, if Alex gets Cammy in the corner, there's very little that she can do. So, um, it's definitely a war that's decided in the neutral. And unfortunately, Cammy kind of wins in the neutral. Of course, Nick, yeah. Go to the back, please. GG, go to the back, please. Thank you. Nice. Um, just gonna drop out. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Hey, fine. Hey, it's that however works. CFN decides um, it needs to be done. That's what we're doing. Uh, but you know, it's it's definitely something that Cammy technically wins in the neutral, but it's going to come down to the player matchup, and um, we didn't get to see. I I genuinely am going to say we didn't get to see it last round. We saw Arlie play the way Arlie wants to play. Um, I have never seen. Advance is Urian. I don't think Advance has a Urian. <laughs> I think he's <laughs> he, he's seen a couple of things from other Urian players. Oh, would you say you still one. haven't seen Advance as Urian? <laughs> so I so we haven't seen Advance play yet. So if he picks the Cami, like he should, um, and you know, yeah, man's we'll, out we'll see here the interaction between these two. This guy's Urian like this. Listen, man, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have certain characters, and if I play them, you know, you're not going to see me at my best. I don't have a Dalsim. I don't have a Manat. If I have to play those characters, I'm not going to be playing at my best. Um, and we're going to see the Cami, like we should, picking the like all the red, red Cami. Like that like level red, 84 yeah. Cami versus that what was that level 190 something Alex? Yeah, <laughs> it's level like 50 something or <laughs> whatever. But, uh, right. Alex is showing his midriff. He's got the crop top on, and it's a sort of power skin. form. There's yeah, a lot of skin going form. on right now. All right, here we go. The, 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 this, this is the, There's the whip punch. nice whip there punish on Valeria. Oh, just a reversal what? command grab he after the... Oh my see, god! See, I told you. I told you. He's gaming. <laughs> Come on. Oh, he gets oh, the fresh counter. That. I hate that sequence that he does. Crush counter into dash forward power bomb is not real. Yeah, it doesn't even combo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. hey, look, if it works, it works, right? Oh my oh, god, he crush counter. He's going to be able to get knee. No, it's too far away. Oh, no, you, jump oh, back. Oh, jump back is so dangerous. You, you, that is the not thing you want to do there. Oh. Oh, he wasn't far enough away. He's going to die for that. Dang. Yeah. Man, what, what, a, what a frenetic round that was. My god. Yeah. This is much more back and forth. The big thing is that Arlie is taking is playing round advances like he, <laughs> advance is trying to shimmy the command crab gets him. You're trying to like <laughs> try to meet and it just gets cross it. Like you cannot well, you have to keep things super airtight against Arlie. If yeah. you do not, he, he will challenge. find an opening. Yeah. Like, advance and, is trying uh, to play Street Fighter, Arlie is just trying to play. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that was the craziest read I have ever seen in my life. Oh my god. I stand that by what I said. That was godlike. Oh, Arlie is gaming be, right now. Dude. Be fair. That it, once that thing texts, if if advance does anything, wow. But block or wow. not move forward, that will hit him. Wow. So it's it's the read. They work, but oh. wow! Oh, I mean, man. of course, good games to both Arlie and Advance. Uh, Advance is obviously a very strong player, but Arlie, uh, you know, he um, he 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 tapped into the 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 primitive roots that we all share as human <laughs> beings and returned to Monkey, and it worked out for him. I mean, it just you know, he's just gaming. Simple as that. Just and gonna, you have to feel that's the, how it be. Feel the that's heart of the battle. That's that's what it yeah. is, right? The answer advance, is advance. I feel advance. I feel for you. I've lost a few sets to Arlie in a similar fashion, and yes. even the ones I won were like five to three because of similar <laughs> fashion. So, trust me, I feel you. I feel you. But uh, you gotta keep it airtight. You gotta keep it air yeah. vacuum sealed tight. That's the only if option. Don't. 
And it, you don't. Know, it's it, he's gonna he's gonna be like Jack Nicholson and what you would call it. In the, I mean, the thing with that is that though, hotel movie because really... he's gonna come in with an <laughs> axe and he's gonna break the door down. <laughs> it's so good for you to face players like that from time to time to really Absolutely. stress your technical ability to play the game. Absolutely, I, I couldn't agree more. Actually, I couldn't agree more. I'm very weak against that type of style, but GG against Nick. This is uh, kind of for all the marbles. I don't know if Nick has already mathematically won, but if GG can pull off the upset <laughs> here, then I think he can uh, I think he can maybe give this the title to Nico the Destroyer, potentially. Not looking mm -hmm. so great at the moment, though. Ooh. Drops the combo. Let right me, now, honestly, like, that GG's quick. style that he showed earlier against Advance gives me the idea that Nick is going to like do very well. Like, he, he fights very well against that kind of turtle play style. Um, yeah. But never say never, you know. Yeah, but but, but like, you have a point. The the last thing you want to do is invite a player like Nick with the tools that a character like Rashid has to just <laughs> be on top of you. He's gonna suffocate you. Um, Get that headbutt. No follow up to it, but I like the idea of the headbutt from neutral just to get something started on your own. Yeah. Um, the mixer might nice. not be plus, but it isn't. It isn't. Uh, it isn't punishable at that at that level. Challenge. Oh, whips the eagle spike, but but doesn't get whip punished too hard for it. All right, uh, uh, very patient from GG. Oh, he went for the the rush nice. down type style what? headbutt. Challenge. All right, well li life's actually it's it's even. Oh yeah, good good challenge from Nick, knowing that that Oki is not is not real. Oh, he gets flipped by the, the, the cross up. Yeah, and that's gonna be it. All right, one zero, quick one zero for for Nick here. Rashid. That being said, definitely a lot of damage going back and forth. Uh, I like the challenges that are coming from GG. Um, he's not fully converting off of them, so there might be some damage left on the table. Um, and there's definitely a bit of like unfamiliarity, but he's feeling it out. You know, like the bigger problem for him is that Nick has experienced so much more <laughs> that yeah. nothing, very little, is going to surprise him at this point. All right. Yeah, he's just going to roll under that. Trying to bait the read. jump over, which interesting. Uh, he was trying to bait a jump, uh, but probably forgot that Rashid has that V skill one. So, no matter what the fireball is, he's just going to go under. Oh, just raw headbutt. Hits him. Oh, gets hit with the frame trap. Ooh, with the reset. Nice V reversal. He doesn't have the V trigger. Boy. Oh, ju jumps over the EX headbutt. Yeah. Oop, drops again. The life is still mm. fairly close. Oh boy. GG just needs a touch here, and if he can go into mirror, he might be in business. Okay, blocks the target combo. Oh, nice. Gets the throw. That's a start. What's the conversion? Nick, look like, like okay. despite, despite the wild man persona that Nick has gotten for himself, he does tend to play very uh, patiently. And very cautiously at wow. close range. Yeah, this, he is, doesn't this is no lizard man. Yeah. No, no. He like he rarely DPs. He will usually take the throw if he if he thinks he has to. Um It's just it's more of his neutral game plan that's a bit more wild. But I mean to an extent you have to you have to kinda of channel that a bit when you're playing Rashid. Yeah, absolutely. Nice with the cross-up again. But yeah, this is this is a tough spot for GG or really anyone to be in. Yeah, tries to be reversal. I like that. Get the stun down. That's really what's most important at that stage. Yeah, but you're still stuck in the corner. Stun is high. Oh, that should yeah. do it. Might, might, might have been watching for like the eagle spike or something, but it just eats the cross-up. And yeah, next yeah. going to take it 2-0. And with that... Um, Nicholas D. Nutmeg is going to yes. take Season 7, Number 7 Tournament of underdog yeah. 5 record pretty strong showing from the ultra silver rashid player um <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah that was solid solid stuff solid stuff all right yeah, so Nick will be your champion for tonight. only pressed heavy buttons yeah that's that's rashid my friend well, that's all he, you need his neutral buttons are his heavy buttons yeah all right so yeah, that big slap the double slap for the evening, our first place winner for the evening is Nick at a 5-0. Oh. 
Then in second place, we have Mika the Destroyer at 4 and 1, followed by also 4 and 1, R. Lee. Then we have Zenora and Savior uh, in the 4 and 5 slots, also at 3 and 2. We also have uh, Silver Dono that came in at 3 and 2 below that. Uh, following that, we have Kuma6691, JB4 Nay, Silver PC, Coach Josh, Celsius, Golden Flame, um, and I believe that's everyone that actually played matches this night. It's. GG's to everybody. I'm glad y'all came out. Um, do we have... Do we want to announce who's going to be part of... Oh, we have one more tournament before the Invitational. Yes, yes, correct. We still have Tournament 8. I believe at this point, though, we have a few players here that are basically locked in. Uh, Jimenez, okay. 357, and uh, Mo will definitely be in the final, uh, provided that they can make it out. Uh, we have Heritor, mm -hmm. Maintenance, and uh, Mika the Destroyer that will almost certainly... Uh, be there. Uh, Ron Plata, Commissioner, uh, Busting a Nut PC, KY Ant, Savior 54 should all make it. Uh, a little bit more iffy, we have uh, Malith, Nameless King, Artemis, Sonic the Boom, Boom Hog, Luigi Hacks, and JB Fournay. I think because JB Fournay uh, made it out this week and actually not didn't place, you know, top four but was, was pretty up there. I believe that will secure them enough points to stay on the leaderboard for the Invitational. So as long as those guys show up next tournament and, you know, at least get a few points, they should they should not fall off the leaderboard there for the Invitational at the end. All right. Very exciting stuff. Very exciting. Alrighty. Well... Thank you to everybody who showed up today. My name is Houseman2593 or Houseman0125, whatever you want to call me. Uh, we've been here with Wulong. Wulong, you want to shout anything out tonight? I just want to shout out everyone who uh, went over to the Match Arena and contributed or just hit the claim code button to add a free dollar uh, to charity. Um, we have 13 of them left. Uh, please, please check it out. That would be dope. If you do, I'll shout you out. How about that? Deal? Uh, definitely. Uh, we have the Matcherino back up on stream. I'm going to go ahead and put that link in the Twitch chat one more time. Uh, for anybody who hasn't been able to get to that link and put the coupon code in yet, please go ahead and do that. It doesn't cost you anything. It adds a dollar to the donation pool that will be getting sent to the National Alliance to End Homelessness at the end of the season. Um, also, we have Matcherino shirts, we have new Challenger shirts, we've got Mongo, we've got Street Fighter collectible cups with collectible coins, and a bunch of other merch that you can buy as well, uh, with a big chunk of those also going into the pool for the donations. Very nice. With Definitely check out that Matcherino in the chat. Uh, I think we'll sign off from there. I'm actually still a little wired, so I don't mind playing a few games. If anybody wants a few games, feel free to ping me in not the oh. tournament's channel because I will, because we're going to close that up in a bit. But you can ping me in SFI General. I feel free to play a few matches, and if you want any advice, I can give it there. Yeah, definitely. Let's see who we can throw the stream over to, though. We have a decent number of people online streaming Street Fighter still. Yeah, uh, for sure. Oh, we actually have a we actually have an entrant tonight um, who was streaming his run. He's still alive. Uh, where we got? Where we got? Coach Josh, Coach X Josh. Uh, I'm not. Am I blind? I'm, I'm looking at the Street Fighter page on Twitch. Yeah, hold on, let me refresh. Oh, I, I see might have yep, went off. He's still there. Nice. Let's go ahead and throw that over. Uh, we'll set that raid up, and uh, that'll be us for the evening. Thanks again, everybody, for tur turning out. Uh, congratulations to everyone that placed. Congratulations to everyone that just showed up and learned anything. We will see y'all again soon. Yes. Peace out. Peace.